Welcome to the first in our Frequently Asked Questions Guide. So we're launching this just to come through some of the frequently asked questions about moving to France. And what we're going to look at today is internet connection. So my wife and I, we bought our property uh, six years ago and when we first moved out it was a complete renovation. So everything we did, we didn't have electric, we didn't have water, we had nothing. So we're going through a full renovation. So in terms of starting out, I still needed every time we were coming out, which was probably once every couple of months, I still needed internet connection. Signal wasn't quite strong enough on my phone to do a hotspot, so I had a dongle. I had a Vodafone dongle to start with. And that was okay to start with in terms of getting emails and working from there. But when we start to fast forward now in terms of probably over the last three or four years, and particularly with COVID coming, internet connection was super important to me. And it's super important to lots of people moving to France. You move to France, you go, right, how can I get the internet? And lots of people want to be able to look at how can you can use the internet. So you've got email, you can use social media, et cetera, et cetera. So let's look at some of the options in rural France. And I have been through most of them. So originally we came with a dongle. And that's fine if you're coming backwards and forwards, get a dongle from the UK, you can still roam on it and you can still take data. Probably very similar to what people are doing from a digital nomad point of view. But let's now look at you live in France and you want to get the best internet you can. Now, if you're working remotely, maybe you need that. If you're streaming things and if you've got a family, you will need to get pretty good internet access and pretty good speed to make things work. So the first thing we looked at was actually looking at a box. So we were looking at a GSM box. So when we think about that, that's basically a SIM card in a router, which will pick up a mobile signal and then that becomes our internet. And in terms of that, what we started to use first, we used, it, we used SFR to start with. So we had a box on the windowsill and that gave us internet connection. And we were pulling that over 4G. It was okay. I can't say it was that good. The speeds were, and these speeds, particularly if you're living in a city, you will be used to huge speeds. You will be used to speeds probably 100, 200 millibytes per second. Um, for us here in terms of megabytes, we were probably getting three or four megabytes per second, which still meant that you could get emails, you could do video calls to a point. But for me, it just wasn't strong enough. We are relatively high where we are, but we're also just in a little bit of a bowl as well. So signal not fantastic. So the next stage then was to look at something that was a bit stronger that had better coverage. So Orange in rural areas does seem to have better coverage using a 4G box. So we looked at their fly box and we were able to do that. So again, put it in the window, try and see what we can get. Signal wasn't that good in terms of that. We were probably up to about six megabits per second in terms of those speeds. So then we looked at, can we get a booster? So we put a booster and we put it on the roof and it was a small box. It was a small box that we put on the roof that did increase that signal slightly and probably got us up to eight megabits per second. So for me, particularly in COVID, I needed to be on Zoom a lot more and I was at home rather than being in the office and I needed to be communicating lots of different things. So it still wasn't quite strong enough for what we needed to have. So then it was like, right, we're gonna stick with the orange fly box, but we needed to find where the closest mast was and we needed to see if we could access that better. So what we then moved to, we then moved to an aerial on the roof. So it looks like a very old fashioned TV aerial. It's got two prongs and lots of bits and pieces on it. And we pointed that towards the orange mast. And the orange mast is probably only two Ks away from here. So we pointed it there, speeds then got much, much better. But we had to get that installed, put it on and make it work. So that was much better. So we were still using the orange fly box, GSM, you put a SIM card in and off it goes. But it is a router, it just looks like a normal router. So when we put that in play, it was up there, it was working, we were starting to get speeds of between 12 and 17 megabits per second were coming in there. So for me, that was pretty good. I could still do Zoom calls if I needed. We could stream things like Amazon Prime, not really a problem. The limitations with it, with Orange, if you're in a rural area, you can qualify for that fly box. 
You can't have it if you're in an area that is serviced properly, say by fibre or ADSL. Now there is ADSL outside our house, or there was ADSL outside our house, but that really was, was worse than actually having the signal. So if you go into Orange, you give them the postcode, they go, yep, yeah, you can have that, and you're able to get that. So France has invested a lot in 4G communication for rural areas to be able to make that work, so you can get decent interconnect. So it worked. The limitations were with Orange, with the packages that they particularly had for us, we could only get a set amount per month and then you would have to add on top of that as well. So we were paying around 40 euros a month, but we were regularly having to top up probably another 15 to 20 euros a month to get extra bandwidth. And that's because we were using it for Zoom, we're using it for Teams, we're using it for Amazon Prime to watch different things through the TV, obviously plugged in and working through that router. So it was all fine and it works fine. So I wouldn't say it was bad. You just have to be aware in terms of looking at your limits. So it wasn't unlimited. Use that fly box for about two and a half years. So we have been able to give really good comparisons for that and good speeds. And as I say, we get between 12 and 18, 12, 17, 18, something like that in terms of that. We then have had fiber in the area put in. We chose to see what our neighbors were getting when they had fiber. We are at the end of the line. And yes, fibre is quicker and everything that comes along with it, but still, bandwidth is limited based on where you are and based on are you at the end. And we are at the end. We're not on a circuit. It comes to the end and it finishes. There are two houses after us. So neighbours, a couple of houses down, they have it. They were getting with orange fibre in rural community. They're getting about averaging 13 or 14 megabits per second. So when we looked at that, we were like, we may as well stay with the fly box because we were actually getting better speeds by using that. So to give you some comparisons, we have um, a business in France, which I've spoken about at times. So within that, I also have my office there and we have fiber there and we get between 100 and 150 megabits per second in the local town. If you go to the bigger cities, you'll get much faster, but that is a really good speed. Everything is quick and instant and that gives you a comparison so if you're in the towns and there is an investment there are more boxes so there are more connection boxes for fiber makes it work better and go from there so let's come back to rural france back to our house so we chose not to install fiber because the speeds were worse than having the fly box which we were doing over 4k still wanted it to be better was not overly happy with it being un not unlimited so limited to about 100 um, gigabytes per month um, so we just needed more because we just didn't want to keep topping up all the time and go from there so now we have installed starlink and we've had starlink now for a month or so and we have put that in so starlink is owned by elon musk and within that you are taking your internet from a satellite feed obviously up in space. Starlink have invested heavily in satellite coverage around the world to be able to make sure that everyone can get good internet and that's their business model, they're doing that. So within that, you have to get their kit installed, which is basically a satellite receiver dish. It isn't a dish, it's a sort of rectangle. And within that rectangular piece that is there, that will then pick up internet signal. So for us, in terms of that works really well, it is unlimited. It has fair use policy, but it is unlimited really for what we want to be able to use. And in terms of the speeds, we are now getting speeds between 40 and 50 megabits per second through Starlink. Starlink, in terms of its costs, we've got a bit of a deal. So we pay 10 euros a month for the hire of the equipment, and then we pay 40 euros a month for unlimited internet. So everything we've been looking at is around that 40 to 50 euros mark in terms of what we get. So in terms of looking at what works really well, what works well for us based in our situation and based in our location is Starlink works really well. Very happy with Starlink. You basically order it, it arrives within a few days, get it installed. You can probably install it yourself. We needed it just again, based on location, we need to get higher up. So we've got someone to come in and install for us. You click a button and you've got instant access and we are up and running. So super easy, really there, good customer service as well. And it just makes sense that it works for us. So your options are, you can have fibre, but again, in a rural uh, community, see what others are getting before you actually take the purchase. You'll be told, oh, it's fine, but you need to think about speeds, particularly what you want to use it for. Also then look at 
if you are in the right rural areas and go into your local orange shop and they will tell you you can then get the fly box with a 4g connection sim card and something there if you do get that some people it works really well you just put it on the windowsill and it works because it picks up a good signal if you need a better signal then you need to look at some kind of booster on the roof or an aerial like we put on and again you can see that in action or you can look at Starlink and Starlink I have to say is working really well for us rurally and we can get really good speeds and speeds that I'm really happy with and it also means that we can have multiple things downloading at the same time you need to think about that our family are young you know our, our two youngsters are not using the internet at the moment but my wife and I might be using the internet I might be streaming something I might be on a video call again if you're in a built-up area so you're in a town Look at your speeds, but your speeds are going to be good. There's a lot of investment in fibre across France right now. And again, if you're in major cities, your speed's not going to be a problem. So look at that. The main supplies you can look at is free, SFR, Orange, and of course Starlink as well. That's me just giving my opinion on everything we have been through. So we have been through this. We've invested in aerials and boxes and testing this and testing that, not for the channel, but just for ourselves. But it is actually a really good segment because lots of people say, what's the best internet can I get? What can I make work? What's there gonna be there? So from my perspective, Look at Orange if you've got lower usage and you want to use maybe a 4G or the fiber, or if you need to be using it more, then look at Starlink as well. I'll keep you updated on how Starlink is going, but after a couple of months, we're really happy with it. It works super, super well, super easy. So that probably I hope you have found really useful. Uh, it's the first of our FAQ guides. It's not going to only be me talking about these kind of things. I'm going to have some other people come on on some of the really specialist areas and they're going to talk to us about those as well. So it gives us something additional for the channel. Of course, we're going to be having lots of properties coming in. We're going to have lots of people's stories. But I thought I really wanted to share this because I keep seeing on all sorts of forums, all sorts of Facebook groups, what's the best internet? So I thought I would share that with you today so you can see it, you can think about it and hope you found this really useful.